Linda EUR. Um, congratulations on such an amazing movie. I'm still blown away. I just saw it yesterday. Why don't we start with you, Joe? Uh, how was it taking on a movie that not only was iconic for its time, but it was the number one grossing film of its year? Well, definitely felt, you know, the pressure uh, of taking on something so iconic, the movie and, and for Tom, you know, bringing back Maverick. Uh, I think we all felt that every single day. Tom described this film as hitting a bullet with a bullet. Um, so we, you know, every single day, every member of the crew was really pushing to, to make sure we delivered on that. Um, but uh, I think we all believed in our story. Um, and we have an incredible cast, which was just so, uh, so great to work with every single day. So, you know, we had a lot of fun making the movie and, and now, uh, you know, it's fun to see people, you know, experience it for the first time. And, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun few weeks for us. Oh my goodness. And I, you have to see it on the big screen. Like you absolutely have to. Jerry, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, filming with Val. Uh, I read somewhere that you guys added some CGI in, in that, is that correct? Well, you know, Val looks terrific. I mean, we, we made sure he had the right makeup and everything. So uh, fortunately he, he was in pretty good health, not great health, but he was in good, good enough health that we could get some terrific days in with him. He's, su he's such a pro. He works so hard. You never know he was compromised in the least bit. He's such a brilliant actor. He can pull off anything. Tom said he wouldn't do the movie without him. He really wanted Val to be a part of this. He's spectacular in the film. We're glad we can bring him back to audiences. He certainly deserves it. He was a big part of the first movie. Yeah. Uh, Iceman was a great character and, yeah. and our writers embraced it. So, and so did Joe. Joe really worked hard to make sure he had the, the, everything he needed to perform at his best. Now, Joe, I read somewhere that you have 800 hours of footage. Is that correct? That's what I was told by one of our uh, editorial assistants. And, um, you know, that's really the reason for that is that when you're shooting aerial sequences and you have, you know, we had six cameras in the cockpit um, and we had cameras mounted on the outside of the airplane. It's not a traditional filming process where you can, um, you know, pick which camera you're going to roll or yeah. stop and start. Uh, the actors would get you know, go up with their aviators and, and once they were in the right spot with the right light and the right terrain and ready to film, they turn the cameras on and let them roll. So uh, it's, it just, it creates a, a lot of footage, but you need to do that to capture what we were, we were trying to do. So is there no, you can't have contact with them when they're up in the air? No, the only, no, the only contact we have is a little bit of radio contact when they take off, when they get back, but what we would do is we would brief every morning for two hours on exactly what we we're going to do that day. Then we go into a mock-up of the cockpit and we would rehearse for about an hour, every line, every eye line, every bit of action. And the actors knew exactly what they needed to do when they went up there. And then as soon as they landed, we would take the chips out of the camera and we would review it immediately, go through everything they did, give them notes, and then they go back up. So it was a it was a different process than normal, but um, the cast did an incredible job, you know, getting what they needed to do. It was very difficult for them because, first of all, they're they're taking five, six, seven Gs while they're trying to act and turn on the can camera and turn off the camera. So it was really grueling on our actors. Fortunately, Tom designed a program where we spent about three months training them in different types of airplanes. So by the time they got in the F-18, uh, they were more accustomed to the Gs. It, it didn't matter. It still... They were soaking wet when they came on the ground. It's unbelievable what these pilots go through when they're in the air. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much and much success. Thank you. Thank you.